We are here at ISE 2015 with Avenue Alliance, uh, one of my personal favorite uh, people, Andy Guthard. Uh, how are you, sir? Very well, very well. How's your ISE so far, first oh, it's day? It's busy, it's incredibly big show. Yeah. 50,000 people through here, it's just amazing. Yeah, yeah I will tell you one thing. Um, not that you, anybody can see this, but we have a camera, nice size camera, lugging it around on my shoulder. I've hit and apologized to more than one person this morning <laughs> already. Uh, so to everyone that, you know, I'm just the big dumb American. That's what I keep telling people. Uh, these uh, narrow aisles we have here in Europe, you see. The aisles aren't narrow, it's the street. <laughs> um, all right, so a couple things that's happening with Avenue, right? Um, number one, huge thing. At the end of last year, at the end of 2014, Avenue came out with what they're calling their industrial pillar, and I'm doing right. you know quotes there. But talk a little bit about it's 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 a shift. It, it, it's it's a, I shouldn't say shift. It's a new focus, right, into more industrial control and uh, timely delivery of, of of information. So so I would say it's an extension. Okay. It's a massive shift. Yeah. Okay. I mean, AVB is pretty familiar to the AV community, um, but. You know, what, what we know is that there's a whole load of other industries that need to deliver data in a time-sensitive way. So the industrial segment, companies like GE, National Instruments, we're, you know, we're looking at these guys who are running power plants, doing all kinds of time-sensitive data, and it's the same technology that we know about already for AV that they need to deliver their data. So how did that transition come about, right? from delivering audio and video over a network, right, over a distributed network, to delivering command strings in a timely manner? So, well, so, we kind of always knew, don't forget, AVB is Ethernet, yeah. right? It's just the, uh, the Ethernet standard, it's baked into Ethernet. And so, you know, the, the, the big players in this organization, and I will not name any names, but everybody knows who they are, you know, that they know, and, and we all know that it has much wider applicability. We've always known that it would have much wider applicability. It's just that now, you know, we're bringing that really to the fore. And what it gives us is that this same technology being used in many different markets, it gives us more economies of scale, it's an open standard. So everybody wins with a very familiar technology. All right, another thing that came out, and this has been within the last month or so, uh, the, the, the uh, letter is TSN. Uh, TSN, have new AVB. Explain that to me. Time sensitive networking. Okay. So we kind of we're probably evolving from referring to AVB to referring to TSN. AVB you can see is a subset of TSN. So TSN, TSN is the big overarching. The big overarching. Okay. Stands for time sensitive networking. So anything that has to be carried in a time sensitive way is time sensitive networking. Now, AV is a part of that. So audio video bridging which is where the AVB yeah. acronym came from. Sure. Is it an acronym? Yeah. It's no, an it's acronym. a TLA. Yes, it is. It's, it's a TLA, acronym. a three-letter acronym. Yeah. It's where AVB came from. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that clearly falls underneath that kind of more general category of time-sensitive networking. Okay. Is this something that those of you who have been involved with AVB uh, from the beginning, is this something that you saw early on? Or is this something that just kind of naturally developed out of conversations you were having with other industries? Um, I, I think it's a, it's a pretty natural development. I mean, don't forget we've had the automotive segment mm -hmm. for quite some for time. For quite some time. You know, and, and although you're probably not going to see AVB equipped cars on the road in the next 24 months, long product development cycles in that industry, but they are very committed to AVB. So we've always known there's multiple industries that this technology is going to be applied in. All right, what do you see um, coming down the pipeline from AVB or from Avenue in the next six, nine months, like between now and Infocom or maybe between now and the end of the year? So, I, mean, I think obviously we've got multiple products in certification. We've, we've announced a few and won't, won't, won't go through the laundry list. There are more in certification. Um, video certification opens this year, 2015. We're uh, also looking at automotive certification, same kind of time frame. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that, those I think are going to be the major pushes because obviously the certification effort is very important. So then people know when they plug their stuff together, it's going to interoperate, it's just going to work. And that's part of the, the key selling points for ABB. 
All right, Andy Gothman from Avenue Alliance. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, now we are with Justin O'Connor from Biamp. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. Yeah. How was your flight from Beaverton, Oregon? It was all a the way? it was a direct flight. Well, not from Beaverton, but Portland. Oh, yes. Portland doesn't have a lot of direct flights to a lot of places, but it does have one to Amsterdam, so it was good. good. There's a joke I could make there about. <laughs> yeah, never mind. All right, so Biamp. Yeah. Um, in my real job, big fan. I I, I, I spec them. I program them. Thank all you. That Thank you. You guys have got a couple things first going down coming down the pipeline. First of all, uh, there are three or four Avenue Alliance certified audio product, products yeah. currently. Yeah. Not to pick on you, but you're not one of them. Correct. Yet. Yeah. So what do you have in the pipeline that's going through the process that you can talk about at least? So in December, we released uh, Tessera version 2.3. That included software and firmware features that make us 1722.1 compliant for interoperability. Explain that real quick if you don't sure. know what that is. Absolutely. So of the suite of standards in the IEEE that make up AVB, uh, the last piece of the puzzle for ratification and then for implementation was what we all just refer to as 1722.1. That's all the device discovery and enumeration that you need when you're interoperating with devices outside of your, your own platform. So when, some, when brand X wants to connect to brand Y yep. and you're all on that 17, you all kind of play nice together. Yeah, and that's, that was the push on the, for the AV industry for AVB is to be able to have common specifications and parameters for devices that don't know each other to be able to share networked media. So uh, we have released that capability, that functionality with 2.3. It's fully publicly released. We tested it in-house. And we've also submitted that exact version to Avenue to get our certification. How did you test it in-house? Just Did you just start buying some stuff from other people? Do they send it to you? Or? Uh, it's a little of everything. Um, we've had switches for a while. We, we are a Netgear reseller yep. of AVB switches. Uh, we have a partnership with Extreme, so we had switches from them. Um, we have the Motu switch, so we have a number of switches to play with. We have some released products from uh, from friends in the industry. We have some unreleased products that we can't talk about from friends in the industry. But we can also test it with our own gear. Even two to zero pieces, can, we can, in the lab setting, we can make them as if they don't know who, each other okay. and, and simulate endpoint testing. So we just did a lot of work in-house with uh, gear we collected from our friends or bought or borrowed or the stuff we had anyway how important do you think how important is that piece because here's the thing you you all are in the business to make money right yeah. um you all somewhat you know, i'm gonna say corporations but you're all companies the whole idea is yeah. you make really great products but then at the end of the day somebody somewhere wants to put money in their pocket yes how important is that then to make sure that all the microphone manufacturers who there are several in the in the avenue alliance yeah all of this, the the DSP manufacturers, the switch guys, the the uh, you know, there's a couple of boards, you know, mixing boards yep. that are, are in the alliance. How important is that to not only the Avenue Alliance, but even to your bottom line? Well, yeah, you could say if I interoperate with another brand, they're getting some of the money. Yeah, that's fine because no one of us can truly do it all, especially with the creativity of integrators and designers. Uh, solutions to the clients problems can come in many forms and we can't always predict what pieces of gear are going to work for a system integrator. So having a catalog that deep and that broad isn't easy. Um, so we would rather, mo I think most brands, and Biop is one of those, we would rather specialize where our core compet competency is and rely on other brands for the variations and the other devices that we're not going to have the expertise to get into and somebody's going to buy that other person's gear anyway. So why not increase the synergy with our Avenue partners and other AVB manufacturers? Why not increase the synergy and have that benefit of having interoperability without having to get everything from one single brand where you might have some devices that they're making that they're not comfortable making, the technology isn't in their core competency. Does anybody really want somebody who can go from mic to speaker and everywhere in between unless they have deep expertise at all of them yeah. it, and, that, and that's just really hard to maintain and that's not where most companies are and buy up we specialize we have our core set of things that we do really really well and that's where we want to be okay. all right you guys uh, are in the process of getting your certification that's correct uh, can you talk about how far along you are I or? really can't okay I would love to be able to tell you 
Tomorrow. But uh, yeah, it's 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 uh, it's a process that uh, not no not Friday. Week. No no no. So yeah, I don't right. I don't have an answer on that. Okay. Um, as far as Avenue, because you and I are going to talk about Viamp uh, in a few minutes. Um, what's the the thing the maybe one or two things that you're most excited about about AVB, about the Avenue Alliance and AVB, and maybe even TSN over the next 12 months? Yeah, I think TSN is one of the things that I'm absolutely the most excited about uh, for our group, for the industry. When AVB was released, we were talking about, well, this is an open open IEEE standard. Anybody can use it. And um, I think in the AV industry, we it was easy to think, okay, anybody in AV can use it. I, I get it. But in a relatively short time period, we see this entire other industry that we wouldn't have even thought of if we sat down to plan, who might use this? They found this technology in industrial control and they said, this does what we want to do and we need that. And that that's where that benefit of an open standard set of protocols yeah. takes off. What industrial manufacturers want to do with TSN, time sensitive networking, couldn't be done by a pure media networking protocol from a single vendor. It just couldn't be done. It's too narrow, it's too specific. So having a true open set of approved standards, it, it creates a whole different environment, a whole different opportunity for everybody. So I'm very excited to see that one promise being paid off. Somebody outside of our little, our little niche sees this technology and says, that's great, we need it. But they're also gonna bring so much new energy, so much technology that we can all potentially leverage. And, and just attention uh, to, to increase the awareness. Other, that AV, AVB is a real. It is real, it's happening, and TSN is a, is a bigger umbrella that ABB fits within. It'll always be backwards compatible, so there are no concerns there. So it's it's just really, really exciting. All right, very cool. Yeah. All right, Justin O'Connor from Biamp and Avenue Alliance. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you.